Hi everybody, it's Amalia and I'm here today with the sheet load of cards. This is the April 2023 sketch and supply list as well as the cutting guide for April 2023. If you don't already know, and if you've been following me for some time, you definitely know about Call Me Crafty Al's sheet load of cards. Every month on the first of the month, Crafty Al premieres a brand new sheet load where you can make a load of cards with uh, sometimes it's six by six papers, sometimes it's 12 by 12 paper, and uh, sometimes they're A2 cards, sometimes they're slim, mini slim lines, and and etc. She's been uh, having this sheet load since about 2019, I believe, and I've been following along ever since then. She also has a design team, that which I'm part of. Um, that will showcase their sheet load of cards on the second. So Elite, um, Alicia posts her um, sheet load on the first and the design team posts their videos of their interpretation of the sheet load on the second. And if you use the hashtag that's in the title of this video or if the hashtag's not working for you, check the description below and there'll be a playlist with everybody's video from the April 2023 uh, sketch and supply list collab team. So uh, let me show you what I made. Uh, this, oh, if you don't know, <laughs> and you probably do know, but if you don't know, um, Please subscribe so that you can see every month when I post a video for the sheet load. Uh, but every month I'll be going through the same paper pad. And what I like to do is I pick a paper pad and I go through the same paper pad until it's done. And I just started this paper pad a few months ago, I think in October. So we've got a long way to go with this particular paper pad before I'm done. Now, um, this particular sheet load is for six by six paper but since I'm going through the same sheet uh, paper pack which is a 12 by 12 paper pack I just take my paper and I cut it down to six by six and that solves that problem there regardless of the sheet load and and what format it's for I'm using this paper pad and I'll be using it until it's done and this is a paper pad that my viewers chose uh, for me to use this time around so here's the sheet load again. Let me show you the cards that I made. Uh, this was for six cards and uh, I have them in their envelopes already. I used pre-made um, cards and envelopes that uh, most recently I'm getting from Joann's. Uh, and I heard that they're uh, no longer gonna be making these pre-made cards and envelopes in the A2 size. I just heard that today. Who knows uh, if that's true or what's going to happen. But uh, the resources for getting A2 size, the perfect four and a quarter by five and a half, are slowly dwindling. I do have a source uh, to get it online at a really good price. Um, and I'll link that below uh, on so you can get it on Amazon. And... Um, so, yeah, so these are my cards. I think they came out really great. Uh, as you can see, I'm using uh, the paper from the paper pad, the DCWB paper stack. And I used some Night Stampin' Up! Night of Navy. This is some pink I had. Uh, I'm not really sure what pink it is. It might be an old pa stack of paper from Michael's Recollections. Uh, I used the pink and navy together to create mats for the card. And that made my overall mat a little bit larger. So this is the pink is this original mat right here, but I think it needed something else. Uh, and I think it needed the navy. So I created another mat around that to uh, make it stand out a little bit more. Oops, sorry, I'm getting everything all over the place. And um, yeah, so these are my cards. Um, also, I used Tim Holtz, Sizzix Tim Holtz Thinlit Butterflies. These are called Detailed Butterflies Mini, and they have two different styles of butterflies. And I used the navy as uh, the outline, and I used a sheet of paper from the stack 
uh, as the inside of the butterfly. These are sentiments from uh, Riley and Company. And uh, I'll leave a link down for them below as well. But I made a variety of cards because I had a variety of, uh, of sentiments to use. And um, I added a little, a little, uh, what is this called? Tail on the end, because I like that look. And I did it for all, almost all of my cards except for this one. This one, I couldn't do uh, a nice enough tail. So what I did was I took my We Are Memory Keepers uh, Crocodile Corner Chomper and I used the large angle on the cards themselves and the small angle on uh, the sentiment just to crop it out. And let me show you what they look like outside the card because actually I think it's a little, there we go. Yeah. So yeah, I made uh, You Made My Day, Happy Happy Day, which I think could be great for a birthday. I also did Plain and Simple Happy Birthday, and Happy Happy Day didn't come out. What happened? What happened to Happy Happy Day? Then uh, You Are So Kind, Thinking of You, and Hello Sunshine. So those are my cards. Don't forget to take a look at uh, all the other team players on the collab team to see their varied uh, interpretations of this card sketch from Alicia of Call Me Crafty Al. And uh, I love the way they came out. How could you go wrong with uh, pink and navy together and, uh, and some butterflies? So... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people come and take a look at my videos, but not a lot of you are subscribing. So I'm challenging you to please subscribe to my channel and uh, definitely leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by and go get your sheet load from Crafty Owl. All the information's in the description. Bye.